Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today's video, we're going to do a little demonstration on what is going on with people and how they are freaking out about the packages that are being delivered to their doors. Now, I am a delivery person, have been for over 20 plus years, okay? I've had people almost spray me right in the face with Lysol. I've had people, you know, freak out because I went up and knocked on their door or rang their doorbell. But it's a fact of life. We gotta do our jobs, and that's what we're supposed to do, you know? So, I hope you enjoy this little video, and I'll be back to see you after you guys all watch how things really are happening and how people are really reacting and freaking out about this whole situation. And I'll go more in detail after you watch this. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Honey, get the door. Where you at? All right, I'll get it. Oh, who's ringing the doorbell today? Jesus, it's a Sunday. Oh, Jesus. Somebody delivered a freaking Amazon package. Honey, I thought I told you not to order any more packages while all this crap's going on. Now I gotta put all the gear on to get it inside. Okay, I think I'm ready. So I have to do anything else? No, I think I'm good. I got all my stuff here. I got a bag to put everything in. I got the Lysol. Oh my God. Well, if you didn't order all this stuff, I wouldn't have to do this every single time. So, we're gonna go. I'm gonna get that box. I hope it's something good. I had to go through all this. I tell you. All right. Well, here we go. Should be a law against this. Everybody know what's going on in this world? Everybody will steal that kind of stuff. Okay, it's all sealed up in the bag. Oh boy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go in the garage. Okay. We're out in the garage. Open the door a little bit. I suppose the air is really good for this. I like saw a knife. Something like this. Everybody know what's going on? Oh, that's probably so contaminated now. Oh. What is this? Amazon. Oh man. Do you even know what you ordered? Are you kidding me? I went through all this for that? Could have got those at the grocery store. Mm. Coffee filters. Are you serious? Mm. Who the hell orders coffee? I have to go through all this just to Mercy. Oh, that in the trash. Mm, I gotta decontaminate. Oh, okay. I don't think I touched anything else. Trash. Okay. Oh wait, I touched the 
knife. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Okay. Just to order coffee filters. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so as you could see in that little short little fun video I did, I figured everybody could get a little chuckle out of it. Okay, I like to make people laugh. I like to make people, you know, just sit back and enjoy something that they're watching and, and get a good chuckle out of it. Now, let's talk about some truths, though. All right. The CDC even states that it is very highly unlikely that you will catch anything, Charlie Victor 19, from a package being left at your door via UPS, FedEx, Post Office, Amazon, whoever it may be, all right? Secondly, all right, if you are concerned, this is what they say, all right, you avoid meeting your delivery driver. Don't run out and give me a hug. That just ain't gonna be cool, you know what I'm saying? So you just avoid the whole situation. You see me pull up in the little truck and you stay in your house until I'm back in my truck and I start to pull. You can open the door and wave at me and say, hi, hi, Mr. UBS guy, you know, and that's fine. Just stay in your house. Don't come out and spray me in the face with Lysol. I've had that happen, you know, just don't do it, all right? If you're still feeling a little bit unsecure, all right, if you do bring the package inside, whatever surface you do set it on, the CDC says that you should sterilize that particular counter or surface that you have put the package on. They do not believe that anything is going to live on cardboard if it even existed. I'm going to go into more detail on that in just a second. For more than four hours, possibly 12 hours, they just say they just don't know. But I'm going to get back to that because I'll tell you what's going to happen. All right, next. Make sure you're washing your, your, your hands, all right? So if you touch the package, you bring the package into your house, into your garage, wherever you're gonna open up that package, then wash your hands. You can't catch Charlie Victor 19 through your skin. You catch it by touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Hello, okay? And another thing that you can probably really think about if you're still kind of freaking out you know is if you're not feeling too comfortable about it leave the package set outside if you don't have to worry about somebody stealing if you live in a nice neighborhood or whatever else and you're just not comfortable let it set out in the sunshine for a little while and just hope it's not a box of chocolate somebody sent you and it will the sun rays will eventually kill anything that is on that box you can bring it inside isolate it in your house you know, it's all about isolation. Just isolate it away and you'll be good to go. You know, then you could also, if you want, you can spray it with your good old, you know, disinfecting spray, Lysol, whatever you can get your hands on nowadays. But this stuff is like liquid gold. I know lots of people, if I probably could get a hold of a case of this, I bet you I could sell it for 20 bucks a can. Because they spray every package that is outside their door. It's a waste, people. Now, let's talk about that. Let's just use a little bit of common sense. Just saying, okay? If the COVID-19 virus did exist on the packages that were being delivered to your homes by a delivery driver, you wouldn't be getting any packages because they'd all be sick with Charlie Victor 19, right? Think about it. I handle between 250 and 350 pieces a day, every single day, Monday through Friday. Think about it. That's a lot of packages over the past year that this has been pretty much going on. And nobody has caught it from the packages. Just saying, people, just think about this for a minute. You get the same delivery driver coming to your door every day and leaving packages, and he's not out because he's got Charlie Victor 19, more than likely, you're not gonna get it either. At least not from the packages. So you can do what you want. If you'd like to spray them, if it makes you feel good, and you wanna waste the Lysol, 
or the pine saw that's in the bottle by your door mixed with some water and you're squirting away, by all means, go right ahead and do it. But all I'm telling you is you're throwing your money right out the window and you could be spending that on something else that could be more valuable coming down the road, which would be any type of survival products, gear, or food to put in your pantry. Just saying. You all do what you would like. I wanted to bring you a fun little video today. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope you got a little chuckle out of it. I had fun doing this. This was kind of cool. So, until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I will catch you all on the disinfectant side.